Hello my friend and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Vicky Lashenko, owner of Small Business Gal and today I will show you how I schedule my tweets using Hootsuite. Stay tuned. business owner you have a lot of things that you do on your plate you do inventory customer service other tasks and social media usually gets put on the back burner but when you do finally sit down and try to figure out this whole social media thing you get frustrated and have no idea where to start Today I will show you how I schedule my own tweets in Hootsuite and the systems that will save you time. Now there's a lot of controversy going behind scheduling tweets. Now I understand that social media, social is social, you need to be interacting on social media, but we as small business owners, we're, we're busy most of the time. We can't spend our whole time on Twitter tweeting and responding to tweets as well as Facebook. So that is why we schedule our tweets, we schedule our social media posting that when customers interact with us we interact back we answer their questions it's a very great way to save you time and still create that presence online that will help you stand out enough chatter let's get down to business all right so I keep all of my content all of my social media content on my Google Drive, which is a great resource to use because that way you can access all of your documents, all of your information from anywhere in the world, any computer. All right, so I'm gonna go to my social media file and click on Twitter content. And this is some of my Twitter content that I use to post on Twitter. And every single month I update it, I add, I take away, and it's always evolving, always evolving. Um, so here I have questions, quotes that I like to post on my social media, small business tips, small business Saturdays, and blog posts and a few versions of them. So this is a really great way to have all your information in one hub. That way, when you do schedule, you just copy and paste and it's all ready to go. So what I do is once a month, I go through a quotes website and I pick out my favorite quotes or I look through my, my journal and see what came up that really meant something for me. And then I put them into here in my content. And then when it's time to schedule, I just copy it and paste it into a different sp spreadsheet and, and schedule it on Hootsuite. It is November and it's pretty late in November. So I already scheduled all the things that I wanted to for November. But to show you how I do it, I'm going to take a little bit of my, my blog post and I'm going to show you. Um, I'm gonna schedule these blog posts and show you how, how I do it so you can get an idea. Um, just trying to keep this video as short as possible um, to save you time. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new spreadsheet in your Google Docs, which is absolutely free and very, very easy to use. So in the first column, we'll have a date, whatever date that you want to that tweet to come out at, and then we'll have the, the tweet itself, and then, then the third column will have a link. Now, um, in this case, we do have lots of links because what I'm posting is blog posts. And it's very important that we have those links. So now we're going to go into here, back to my Twitter content page and just copy all of these pages, um, all of these, excuse me, lines. So there are six lines. I'm just going to copy them. And I'm going to go back to the new spreadsheet and I'm going to paste all of these into here into six all right so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a column because it took um, it took that the common way okay so we're gonna have this as our dates this is our content and that is our link and what's great about Hootsuite is that the link that you have here it automatically shortens it and makes it trackable so you can go back and see how many times people clicked on that link so we're gonna pick a date and we're gonna post this this specific tweet on the 18th of November and about 12 noon and we're going to copy this and this one we're going to make the 21st so 21st and if you take this and drag it down 
it will do it every every three days i believe so 18 21 24 27 30 and 2. we're not going into december yet so i'm going to schedule schedule this particular tweet on the 22nd all right so we're done we have our dates we have our tweets and we have our links now you can go as as low as i believe 350 posts so i mean you can go all the way down and what i usually do i schedule these in segments so i schedule my questions separately i schedule my my, um, my quotes separately that way if there's some kind of error I don't have to go back into who's we delete every single one I can just do in little increments like that and I really love doing this in this way because it's very organized I'm scheduling quotes and the quotes go out every single day now when I'm scheduling um, blog content such as this I don't schedule it ev for every single day as you can see it's every other day and then when I schedule business tips they they don't go out every single day they go out about every three days when I schedule small business Saturday it's only every single Saturday so you have to take that in account and I think it's just so much easier on your mind when you schedule it it's like okay I got this done all right next and it's a much quicker process than I'm showing you right now because um, I'm obviously explaining everything, but your first time might, might be time consuming. Second time, breathe. You'll love it. Okay, so we're now ready for this file to go into Hootsuite. But before we do that, we need to export the file. So we need to click File, Import, no, Download As, I'm sorry, Download As the CSV file, which is comma separated values. And you just download it and it's going to go into your um, downloads. Do not open this because when you do, it becomes a spreadsheet. It'll just mess everything up. So do not open it. So let's go back into Hootsuite and we're going to click on this little calendar and then click on the bulk message uploader. And choose the file that you just saved and the file should be in your downloads somewhere. So I believe it's this one and you open it. You pick what social network, which in this case is Twitter, and then submit. Successfully scheduled six messages. Now, some of you might ask, why do I schedule Twitter separately for face from Facebook? There's a bit of a difference with Facebook and Twitter. And Facebook, I, I like to schedule my posts directly from Facebook now that Facebook has a easier scheduling tool where you can actually pick a date from a calendar not a drop down so that would be very that's very very helpful it's because facebook kind of looks differently on things from hootsuite because they already know scheduled and i don't want to show it so often to your um to your fans so that's why like the best way to schedule is on facebook it's a little more time consuming but i think as facebook is evolving i think there'll be easier um easier ways in the future so now let's look at the file and how it's saved. So we're going to go to scheduled again. And you will see here where we have at 12 p.m. My blog post is coming out with a link. Um, what was it? The 21st, my blog post is coming out with it with a link again so there you go this is how i schedule my tweets and i hope this video will help you schedule your own thank you so much for taking your time to watch this i hope this helps you and have a wonderful day want to stand out in your local business click here to get my five day video series absolutely free we'll talk about your online presence social media video email marketing and everything you need to know to stand out in your local community so what are you waiting for? Click here and I'll see you on the inside.